The right to bear arms. Do citizens really use it as a means of defense? Exactly how often are guns used to stop violence? Let's look at just facts. In a New York Times column, Nicholas Kristof claims it is true that guns are occasionally used to stop violence, but contrary to what the National Rifle Association suggests, this is rare. One study by the Violence Policy Center found that in 2012, there were 259 justifiable homicides by a private citizen using a firearm. Kristoff makes a major and common error by assuming that firearms only stop violence when they are used to kill criminals. However, the purpose of having a gun for defense is not to kill criminals, but to prevent them from killing or harming others. As the National Academies of Sciences explains in a 300-plus page analysis of firearm studies, effective defense of gun use need not ever lead the perpetrator to be wounded or killed. Rather, to assess the benefits of self-defense, one needs to measure crime and injury averted. The particular outcome of an offender is of little relevance. In fact, a range of credible data suggests that civilians use guns to stop violence more than 100,000 times per year and rarely even fire them because criminals typically flee when they find that their targets are armed. A 1995 paper in the Journal of Criminal Law and Criminology found that at least 0.5% of households over the previous five years had members who had used a gun for defense during a situation in which they thought someone almost certainly would have been killed had they not used a gun for protection. Applied to the U.S. population using standard scientific methods, this amounts to at least 162,000 saved lives per year, excluding all military service, police work, or work as a security guard. Since this data is from the 1990s and is based on people's subjective views of what would have happened if they did not use a gun, it should be taken with a grain of salt. However, the same survey found that the number of people who used a gun for self-defense was about six times greater than the number who said that using a gun almost certainly saved a life. This amounts to at least 1,029,615 defensive gun uses per year. That study, which is one of several we'll discuss, was conducted by pro-gun researchers Gary Kleck and Mark Gertz. Yet even anti-gun criminologist Marvin E. Wolfgang praised it, writing, I am as strong a gun control advocate as can be found among the criminologists in this country. Nonetheless, the methodological soundness of the current Gleck and Gertz study is clear. I cannot further debate it. It impresses me for the caution the authors exercise and the elaborate nuances they examine methodologically. I do not like their conclusions that having a gun can be useful, but I cannot fault their methodology. Furthermore, other credible studies provide evidence that defensive gun uses are much more common than the New York Times leads their readers to believe. Anti-gun researcher David McDowell and others conducted a major study of defensive gun use that was published by the Journal of Quantitative Criminology in 2000. Their results imply that U.S. civilians defend themselves and others from crime at least 990,000 times per year. Likewise, a 1994 study by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention found that Americans use guns to frighten away intruders who are breaking into their homes about 498,000 times per year. And in 2013, President Obama ordered his administration to conduct or sponsor research into the causes of gun violence and the ways to prevent it. Obama's agencies then tasked the Institute of Medicine and National Research Council to convene a committee of experts to develop a potential research agenda focusing on the public health aspects of firearm-related violence. This committee studied the issue of defensive gun use and reported, defensive use of guns by crime victims is a common occurrence, although the exact number remains disputed. Almost all national survey estimates indicate that defensive gun uses by victims are at least as common as offensive uses by criminals, with estimates of annual uses ranging from about 500,000 to more than 3 million. Studies that directly assessed the effect of actual defensive uses of guns have found consistently lower injury rates among gun-using crime victims compared with victims who used other self-protective strategies. All this credible data reveals that 259 figure is way off target. And by misleading his readers to believe that guns are rarely used to stop violence, Kristoff and his editors at the Times could discourage people who might otherwise save lives from ever getting the firearms that would empower them to do so. I'm Amanda Reed Sheik.
here with just facts. For thorough documentation of every fact in this video, read the article How Often Do Citizens Use Guns to Stop Violence at JustFactsDaily.com.